Hi everyone, it's Elaine Biz, and today we're going to unbox Black Wang uh, pencils. And I actually opened the package, but haven't really gone over the pencils. So I'm really excited to be doing these. Palomino is the brand that basically makes these. They've been around for a long time and, and they make three types of pencils. I once used uh, for sketching. It's uh, a little harder than this one, but this one is soft graphite. The other pencil, which is uh, a writing pencil, they say that you can use half the pressure that you would normally use to write and still have a nice dark line. And a lot of uh, calligraphy artists will use these pencils to uh, create lettering, do lettering work, because you can see the difference between a lot of pressure and a little bit of pressure. And it, it really acts like a, a pointed calligraphy pen. So uh, I'm having, let's see, haven't really gone into it. So my husband thought these were brushes. So I thought that was funny. And they talk about how you can hack these. I'm not exactly sure how you would do that, but um, apparently you can. Uh, I know that the erasers can be removed. I'm guessing I would have to loosen this up. I'm gonna get that. So I'm gonna move this over and I'm using a Prismacolor pencil sharpener. Hmm. That's disappointing. By the way, I wasn't paid for this review. Ah, there we go okay all right so here is this is a mixed media notebook so i'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see it a little better okay so i don't know if you guys can see that but i'm, I'm also going to shoot it at a different angle This particular pencil is a drawing pencil. I haven't said that before. Uh, I'm also not sitting down, so it's really hard. Let me sit down. It's a drawing pencil, and this particular pencil is um, people. It's famous. This particular pencil was used by Chuck Jones. It's very soft. Right away, if you look at my point. It, it has an angle already and I haven't done many lines. I am make, uh, pushing it in or, or have a, I'm, I'm pushing it with a lot of pressure, so. I love the sound it makes. There's something really relaxing to that. It's like it's crunching the graphite on the teeth of the paper. And uh, I like that a lot. So, like I said, this one's really not for writing. I really like it.
Testing the eraser. My leaves go slimes, but to be fair, I am pressing them pretty hard. something a little bit more complicated like an eye. Okay, so I know that there's a tutorial hang, hanging out on the internet about how to do proper eyelashes. I do whatever I want. Just to make sure you guys know that. I'm happy with my results. It's essentially the same thing. I'm making a curve from the bottom up. And I make sure that it's uh, in here it tapers off. They're smaller. just gonna go wherever they want sometimes they're straight sometimes they're smaller they're uh, curved curved okay there's a waterline doesn't look like much of a waterline but there you go and these are kind of like little and you have the curvature of the orb the lid, the eyelid. If you do your own makeup, you know that this area stays light. I would love to try the other pencils. I, I really like this one. But I really would like to try the other pencils as well. There's a little shadow here. And the shadow here, it pretty much tells you that the, the ridge of the nose runs above here. I'm basically making a little square where I think the shadow, uh, the light, the highlights of the light should be. And I'm just guessing it because I'm obviously not looking at an eye.
I'm just basically using this to soften up the line work. And I, that's not my favorite tool to use, but sometimes you just need it. I really like it. Let me see if I can get this one. I really, really like this. If I, you know, whenever I do an eye and I do it this dark, I use a white pencil, um, like this one, to kind of create some highlights in between, but I don't think it's working. I don't think, yeah, very little. Yeah, it's, it's actually not helping. Well, let me lose that. Okay, I really like it though. It, it is a really nice uh, soft graphite pencil. The, the graphite itself in the uh, pencil is very, it spreads real nicely. I, I really like it. Eyes are usually a little gray inside. So I just would make it a little darker here. And wherever you think that light should be, just leave it a little lighter. But um, this is definitely a great, a great one, a great pencil. I. I'm actually planning on using it on an event that I have uh, that I have coming up. So now I get now I know how they're going to behave. So or if I have to, if if I uh, now I know whether I have to sharpen it every other illustration or uh, if it'll last sharpened. It, for a pencil like this, that pretty much you have a point, but it's just on the opposite end from where you've been uh, drawing. I probably wouldn't sharpen it too much until I lose the uh, the graphite so I probably would sharpen this every two to three illustrations um, I like I said I really like it I'm definitely gonna keep using it so thanks again for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to make something couture